So after doing a couple videos on the new Tab P11 Pro second generation by Lenovo, I thought there might be some tips and tricks that would help you if you just got yours or if you're just new to Lenovo tablets in general. Now, if there's other tips that I didn't include in this video, feel free to leave those down in the comments below. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> One of the first things I would do is go into settings. Under display, you can choose how long before the screen times out between one minute all the way up to 10 minutes. You also have sleep timeout for work mode settings. The other thing you'll notice up here in the notification shade, you've got a lot of shortcuts to choose from. You can add or subtract those just by hitting the little pencil here in the corner. You've got several different stuff that you can add, like an alarm, TV remote for Google TV. So it's just a matter of tapping and holding, drag that up here, and then just let go. Same thing if you wanna get rid of that, just drag it to the bottom. It's probably one of the easiest ways to get to dark theme and productivity mode as well. You'll notice once you switch to dark mode, it's gonna change the Google search bar there. Also the little icon for Google Entertainment Space. Notification shade is gonna stay dark regardless of which theme you have it on. You'll also notice where all of your apps are, that search bar changes colors as well. And you'll see where your notifications are is gonna change from light to dark as well. The other thing I'll mention while we're here is you can turn on and off these shortcuts here just by tapping once. But if you tap and hold, it's gonna give you other options. Now if you tap and hold, it's gonna take you right to the Bluetooth settings. You'll have a list of what items are connected. And this is where you compare things like a Bluetooth keyboard, Xbox, PlayStation controllers, your Precision Pin 3 if you have one. It's a pretty simple process to do. Now let's say you wanna have two apps open at once. If you just go to recent apps, if you just tap and hold on a recent app, you can do split screen or app info and then hit split screen. Then you can have two things going at once and then you'll see the line there in the middle. You can slide that left to right to adjust it or slide it all the way over to switch back to just one app. You'll also notice you have shortcuts over here on the right hand side for the precision pin. If you just hit the plus, you can do a note You've also got screenshot. You can do a full screenshot or just drag a certain area of the screen. Then you get the option to edit or share. Another cool feature, it turns your pen into like a laser pointer. Or you can use it to magnify stuff as well. Tap on it again and it goes back to the regular pencil. If you don't like the location of this little pen shortcut icon, you can also move that all the way to the top or to the bottom. And good thing is if you're left-handed, you can move that to the opposite side as well. You'll also notice inside settings under Lenovo pen, it's gonna show your battery life there towards the top. But then if you scroll down, it's got something called writing sound. You can also turn that on if you wanna make it sound like you're writing on a piece of paper. You can also bring your shortcuts up for the precision pen just by tapping on this button right here on the pen. And then you can tap it again to close. Another thing you may wanna change, if you go into settings and search for navigation, You'll see system navigation. Then you can switch between three button and gesture navigation. If the keyboard pops up, you can just hit that little arrow to make it go back down. You've also got some settings here for back sensitivity on the left and right edge. You can also swipe to bring up the Google Assistant. Now, if you wanna improve the battery life on this tablet, there is a battery saver here up in the notification shade where it's gonna turn on dark theme, limit the background activity, some visual effects, certain features, things like that. But there's also another feature I think would improve the battery life. If you go under display and settings and then scroll down here towards the middle, you're gonna see screen refresh rate you've got the option of 120 hertz or 60 hertz which isn't going to be as smooth if it seems too choppy you can always switch it back and then just hit apply you'll also notice in settings right above the novo pin you'll see productivity mode that's one spot where you can toggle that on probably easier just to go up in the notification shade and change it right there and then you'll see your open apps down here at the bottom you can quickly switch between those and then move them around if you want Definitely makes it a little more like a laptop experience. You'll notice Netflix has to go full screen. For some reason, they don't let you do that in a pop-up window. You have your navigation over here in the left-hand corner, all of your apps down there in the corner as well. 
Then your notification centers down in the right hand corner. Overall, pretty nice layout here. Again, it's a little more like using a laptop versus a tablet. Then you've also got shortcuts like settings, power, and then you can edit your shortcuts there. Then you also have a shortcut for the clock down here in the corner as well. And then you can switch between apps or close the recent ones just by using your navigation down here. You've also got your entertainment space left of the home screen. Also, if you want to know how much battery life you have, tap down here in the corner and you'll see real small, I've got 90% left or about five hours, 19 minutes. Then to go back to tablet mode, just tap down here in the corner and choose productivity mode. If you tap and hold on the home screen, you've got some settings you can adjust here like notification dots. You can turn on and off the entertainment space when you swipe left, it just won't be anything if you toggle that off. You can also choose whether apps are added to the home screen once you add them or if you want to use a wallpaper to generate a theme. You've also got quite a few widgets you can add on here also. And you can adjust the size of that as well. If you don't like it, you can just tap and hold and then drag to the top. Very similar to your app icons, you can group those together. You can just tap and drag those together to group them or to ungroup them, just drag them out of the folder. You can also drag the entire folder up to the top to remove that as well. You've also got wallpaper settings. I kind of wish they had more in here to choose from, but this is what it currently looks like. They also have one that changes depending on the time of day or if you're using light versus dark theme. Something I wish I could do on my Pixel phone is if you don't like this Google search bar right in the middle, you could also delete that as well just by tapping and dragging to the top or you can resize it to make it longer or shorter. I also think people sometimes forget how much stuff you can connect through the charging port on tablets like this. This USB-C to HDMI adapter, you can use this to connect to a TV or a second monitor. This is one that I've been using that seems pretty reliable. You can also just plug in a USB-C to USB-A adapter like this one here and you'll be able to connect keyboard, mouse, controller, external drives, card readers, pretty much any USB dongle. It even lights up my gaming mouse. So yeah, there's a lot of options you can do just through the USB-C port. And it's gonna work pretty much like a regular mouse on here. If you got a USB-C external drive, then it's even easier to copy files over. Again, just a lot of options that you can do using the charging port on the P11 Pro. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.